Let's look a little bit closer in some of those properties in particle system. So we'll go over the definition every of each of them. Uh, remember, depending on what you're using, this some may be different. You now look on all of those different ones. So first we look on a play. The size is will represent size of our brush. And it's straightforward if we have it larger size, it's creating a larger brush as well. Particles, it's how many particles we have it in our brush. And it's going from one till 100. The more particles, and you can see right here, soft light, how they're affecting, more they're affecting each other. The less particles, the less interaction will happen in them. And this is more visible when we, for example, will use it some dotted line or some other particles elements. Okay, next we have the spawn, which is the spawn between the particles in the brush. Let's go, for example, lower spawn. Again, we cannot kind of hard to see on this one. It's probably better if we're using some other elements in this case. But you will notice more, and if we have a higher spawn element, the more spawn will happen between the particles. Okay, let's bring a little bit down again. The softness, this is kind of interesting between the softness and speed, because in one case you can see we have a high softness, speed is kind of become crawling, you kind of hardly can see almost. So it seems like with the speed as well, we can have it a very slow speed or very fast, sorry, and if we're going opposite, we can have it the same very slow speed. This is actually two different ones. If softness is responsible on a higher value, this slow down the speed of the stroke and create an actual more defined stroke. So it's a smoother, better um, kind of edges. However, it is um, reaction time. It's become very, very slow. So in some cases, maybe you want this for details, but again, it's slow. And the speed overall, it said the speed of the particles, which uh, represent the brush reaction time. So the harder speed, uh, they said the more active brush it's happening. And you can see when I increase high, it's going super fast. Think of over places. Okay. And in some cases, we can always have it softer and nice representation brush, bring speed up. And in this case, we have a nice design brush, but again, with a good responsive time. Okay, next, we have our center. And a center is a setting that allows to set as global attraction of force of the particles from 0 to 100. The higher value, the higher is attraction. So example, let's go to set center 100%. And you can see how they attract to the center. And again, we set opposite. And mostly you can see when we start going around, I can ask this area so right here. It's kind of attracting versus other ones just stay closer attracted to the center of our brush. Okay, uh, let's actually leave it speed here. Right center, maybe around there. Okay. Next, we have a focus, and a focus is actually set individual attractions force of the particle, so it's not overall global. Example, let's go to set maximum, and you can see how we're going. Actually, you know, let's remove this one. So this is all we set with force set to 100, and let's go take force to zero. You can see the difference, mostly when we start going around, like in this area with higher force. So it does manipulate with the setting for each individual attractions. Okay, and then next we also have a canvas under this, which is set parameters again from zero to 100, you can set. And it is a uh, act interesting because the closer particle to the, the cursor itself that it's more chaotic it gets so for example we can set 100 percent and actually this one a little bit hard to see in this particle so let's go switch maybe to different one i think this one may work better 
Okay, and you can see chaotic right here. We'll take focus down. Let's bring some all of those down. Okay, and chaotic zero. Okay, now our speed need be increased. Okay, and now let's go take increase chaotic more. And you can see how now acting way more from the center of our brush. Okay, the noise, it's set parameter again from 0 to 100. And each particle that has random and constant attractions of force. So the higher, okay, so the chaotic, as we change, you can see our brush is even representing how much happening to our brush. Again, as we're going to on a noise and we reduce our noise and you can see how noise of our brush is reducing as well, become less noisy. With a combination of all of these properties, we can manage and we can create a different type of brush that we can use it kind of more realistic. Okay, let's look on that ribbon. And you notice in a ribbon, we have it different, but we add flexibility and we lost many other one properties as well. So right here, the size will be exactly the same. The particle size will same set particle. The link, however, it's a link the, of the brush stroke. So in it's, you can see as we changing link and our brush is changing on the screen. So this is, we have the higher link of our brush. Okay, so let's go reduce and you can see right there how our brush is changing on the link. So speed will be same thing. It's a set the speed of particles, the representation of brush reaction time. Focus, again, it is individual attraction force of the particle to the center of the brush. And uh, our flexibility will affect also how the flow of the brush. So example, let's go to reduce flexibility of our line of our brush. And notice when we go create a corner, we do have some of those, like right here, you can see our brush, they a little bit less flexible and more thick. However, if we switch, increase our flexibility higher, notice our brush start have a little bit more flow effect. And at this point, it's creating much more attractive to the original start of the point the last uh, particles and you can monitor and watch how the effecting happen. So with flexibility, we can create more fluid like effect with our brushes.